Hello Capricorn viewers. So last video I did, I was getting that your person um, would have an epiphany, but they would have a lot of shadow work that they had to do first. It was like this this purging sort of process that they would be going through um, and lots of emotions coming up and, and then they would have that epiphany about you. So let's see where we're at now with that energy. So Capricorn viewers. What is your person feeling or thinking? Or what's specifically on with this connection with the Capricorns that are watching? I guess those two on the Those three. Capricorn viewers, what is your person thinking or feeling regarding this connection? What is your person thinking or feeling regarding this connection? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. All right. Nine of Pentacles. King of Wands. Hmm, that's good. It's not bad energy. The Magician, that's really good. Nine of Swords. So yeah, they're still kind of in that energy that they were in before. And feeling nostalgic and, and missing you for sure. King of Cups. Yeah. Oh, this masculine is sweet, I feel. I feel like that. I think they're being a better person than they were before. I think that they're in better energy and they're starting to develop their intuition. And they weren't really listening to their heart or their intuition before. But I feel like this connection and like this energy is making them like get back in touch with themselves, you know? And then they have hope now. I sense like an innocence from this mask these masculines that I'm channeling for you guys. It's almost like this. I don't know. It's like, I think he's stupid sometimes. <laughs> like, they all are. They all, like, all the masculines I channel, they usually do some stupid shit. Like, obviously. You know, if you guys are here and you're watching these videos, it probably means your masculine is doing, not doing what he should be doing, you know? Otherwise, why would you be watching these? <laughs> but, um, this one is almost like, almost like oblivious. Like, he just doesn't, like, I don't know if he's, like, not very experienced or what it is. It's almost, maybe he is experienced, but he's, like, he just has like this sweet kind of innocence to him or to the masculines that are that I'm channeling in this this energy. It's um like he's not a bad person. I think he's just been oblivious in the past. Like maybe he didn't know how you felt or he just It's almost like this shy, awkward, nerdy guy that like tries to ask you out and he ends up offending you because he says the wrong thing. It's like that kind of energy where he's like sweet and clumsy. He's just oblivious sometimes. Like sometimes he doesn't say or do the right thing, but it's like, it's cute. It's like he fails in like a cute way. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, and he's passionate. I think this is a very, um, this is like very feminine energy. He's very, he's very sweet. He's very loving. He's very, he's almost childlike in some ways. It's almost like, it's like you can't get mad at a kid for being a kid. It's almost the same way with his masculine. It's like, he's just, <laughs> he's got a lot of shadow work to do though. I think he is doing it. Um, I think that he's a lot more vulnerable when he, I mean, he was vulnerable in the last reading I did. I think he was, he was about to have that epiphany, which I think he's already had it, or he's going to have it in the very near future. Um, but kind of with this synergy, I feel like he's either, yeah, I feel like that epiphany is, is either just happened or it's about to happen any day now. It, it feels very close. With the Nine of Pentacles, it's, um, you know, he's wanting that reward after good, after, you know, all the work he's done. It's like this, like, the harvest is here, kind of, you know, it's like that completion. He's, He's wanting that with you. And, um, yeah, this energy is very sweet. Like, it's just, it's so, it's so loving and empathetic and vulnerable. Like, I think that something just broke him open and made him really vulnerable with, um, 
with you guys and, and kind of brought those memories of you back up in his mind. I don't know if you guys talked or something just reminded him of you, but I kind of feel like he's, he's more vulnerable with you than he was before. He's in a very vulnerable space right now, actually. I think it's, well, that makes sense with like the reading I was getting before with you guys with all the shadow work he had to do and all like the life changes. I think he's just like, He's tired of putting up a front. He's tired of having to be the strong one all the time. He's tired of having to be having to survive, having to like be in survival mode. I almost feel like when he's at work, it's like a lot for him, like or wherever he is, it's like he goes somewhere where it's like a lot, like it's intense for him. It's like he's, <coughs> mm. oh, sorry. It almost blocks his throat chakra maybe is what I'm getting almost makes him feel like he can't because he's very he's so sweet and innocent like he has like this sweet childish energy energy to him um and i think like day-to-day -day life like survival like having to like be so strong is hard for him um and i feel like it kind of blocks his throat chakra i think it kind of blocks him from communicating with you a little bit because it's so much stress and it's like he just wants to retreat and run away like I almost see him in like fetal fetal position. Look right there, fetal position. <laughs> um, because he's it's not that he's not like I don't want to say that he's not a strong person. It's just this masculine is much like softer than most of the masculines I've channeled. So it's really sweet. Like I wish I had a masculine like this. That'd be nice. Um, like it's it's good energy. You know what I mean? Like he's very loving and empathetic. He's probably not the type that. You know, the downside of that, the downside of, of being in that energy is like, he's not the type that's going to fight somebody for you. He's not the type that's going to get in somebody's face if they're messing with you. I don't feel like he, I don't feel like these masculines are the type. I could be wrong. But, um, but that romantic, loving, sweet energy I get from him is worth it. You know what I mean? Like, it's a really good energy. It's a really good man that you have here, I feel. Um, and he's very... Let me see this. What can I get from this? He's very charming. Like he's very he he is. He's very he or she um is is very charming, very charismatic. Um let me see what I can get from this energy. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like he's trying to manifest you back in his life. See, I kind of feel like these masculines, this this group, um, again, masculines or feminines, however this energy resonates with you, but um, they're very, like, they're very soft and they're very shy. So, like, if this is somebody that likes you, they're probably not going to have the courage to come forward because they're, like just the kind of person they are. They're more, they're softer, you know what I mean? So they're, they're not really going to be, like, it's harder for them to be assertive. Like, they want to be, but there's, like, that shy kind of sweet energy with them. But they are trying to manifest you. They're in this magician energy where they're, you know, they're trying to manifest you. They're they're trying to, they're thinking about you. They're dreaming about you. They're fantasizing about you. They're missing you. They're wondering what it could have been like or what it would be like with you. Um, you know, they're in that magician energy though, where they're, they're just, they're trying to, um, I wonder if this is like a spiritual person that's actually like doing witchcraft or doing some type of spiritual work on you to try to manifest you back in their life. That's possible for some of you. If you're, if your masculine is like into this like psychic work, witchcraft, they might actually be meditating and trying to like consciously manifest you back into their life is what I feel. Um, and I almost see like, this is like, and it's like fear and worry, like the traditional meaning of it. But like, when I look at it, I always see like, I kind of just intuitively read it, you know, instead of going by like the traditional meaning of nine of swords, I just kind of see this person that's like, like in fetal position, you know, like depressed and and sad and, and feeling lost and feeling alone and feeling like survival and just day-to-day -day life and work and all of it is too much. Because again, this masculine is very vulnerable. I don't know if he was before or not. Like I can't really tell that actually because 
this could just be the energy that he's in because remember if you guys watched my last Capricorn video um, remember I was talking about this masculine that needed to do the shadow work and he needed to let his heart open up again and you know all the truth is going to be revealed all at once to him like it was going to come in quick for him because he was finally opening himself up again and not just you know being in this you know nine to five stagnant you know survival mode basically um so it's possible that because this this energy is like very sweet very empathetic very loving very vulnerable he's very fragile right now so if you guys do talk be really careful with your words be careful what you say to him be careful what you post on social media right now because he's really easily hurt right now but um but yeah for for some of them this is like who they really are and for others i feel like this is just the energy that they're in because they're finally letting themselves feel again they're finally letting themselves open up again you know they're this could also be i'm kind of wondering for some of you if maybe your masculine is not working right now because of what's going on with the virus and everything and a lot of people got laid off and so maybe before it's like he was able to numb himself and like be in that survival mode because he had to work full time and now he's being forced to face himself and face his thoughts and his emotions and just just deal with himself and be alone with himself and it's it's cracking him open you know what i mean so that that could be that the case for some of you because you know he is doing the shadow work he is facing himself he is getting in touch with himself in a deep level right now um so for some of you yes your masculine is, is just like a soft um fragile person and like a very very wonderful very loving very empathetic person very romantic person it's a really good energy and for others it's just again it's just like whatever's going on has made them whatever whatever however the situation plays out whatever that energy is it's made it so that they have to um face themselves and they have to they have they're having to do the shadow work right now as we speak and um and that's just putting them in this vulnerable energy that they have not been in in a long time. They're finally being forced to open their heart up, you know? Um, and, and yeah, they're just, again, they're very vulnerable, very fragile. So be careful how you talk to them right now. Um, and they're kind of just, they're wanting to retreat. They don't want to be outside right now a lot. They don't want to like, they're just, they're so vulnerable right now. Like they don't even want to be around most people. Like they might be depressed. They might be staying in bed a lot actually. Cause they're just kind of like, like everything's hurting their feelings lately. It's like every little thing is like hurting their feelings right now. It's like, they're just, they're so, they just want to disconnect from the world. I think they can't handle all the stuff going on, like on the news and stuff and everything else. Like, I feel like they have a lot of empathy and I feel like they can't really handle all the stuff that's going on in the news. So they want to retreat. They just want to run away. And when they run away, um, you are what they run away to. They might not be physically doing it. They might just be, again, just dreaming about you and just fantasizing and thinking about what it would be like with you. And, or, you know, if you've been with each other before, thinking about, you know, how it was before. It's like this, this very nostalgic energy where you're just, you're their safe place. It's kind of like, I see them like locking the door and staying in bed and just like thinking about you. And it's like, they don't want to be with anybody around anybody else right now. Like they just want to be safe. They want to be protected. They want like, they want like a mother right now, to be honest. Like they kind of want like a mother. I don't know if they have mother issues. They might. Um, cause that's the energy I get where they, they want their mom. <laughs> like um or they want motherly energy from their feminine they want like that like nurturing soft gentle empathetic understanding from their feminine right now they don't want to have any really um like no arguments they cannot handle arguments right now at all they, the energy they're in they cannot handle arguments they're so they're probably crying daily they honestly are probably crying daily with this energy they're feeling things that they have not felt for probably months maybe even years um and yeah they're they're nostalgic for you you're their safe they want that safe space they just want to retreat it's like they just wish they could like stay in bed and just cuddle with you all day like they just they can't do it they're they're just tired of life they can't handle it they can't handle they have too much empathy right now for the news all of it um and they're in their king of cups energy it's really good it's you know look at this man look how like empathetic and loving and vulnerable he is and he's finally being like that he's finally getting in touch with his soul and being his true self 
and not just being what the world made him or what the world wanted him to be. And with the moon, he's also developing his psychic gifts and getting in tune with his intuition again. I think that this downtime, like this alone time that he's had, has um, has allowed him to get back in touch with his his intuition too. I think that his psychic gifts are coming pouring in as well. You guys might be having dreams about each other or you might be like telepathically communicating right now. Um, yeah, because I kind of think that epiphany has to do with... Because I remember I talked about the epiphany. I'm trying to remember what the epiphany was about, but I feel like the psychic... Like the astral realm or something about the psychic world is like connected to that, if that makes sense. That epiphany energy that I got. It's like the, um, God, what is that? Like the, the, um, like maybe you guys are like communicating astrally, like in the astral realm, you guys are communicating or like telepathically, you're sending each other messages, which makes sense. Cause I got the magician card for you guys. So this might be a masculine that's actually getting on his spiritual path and developing his psychic abilities and like. Maybe before he had the psychic abilities, but he tried to, like, shut them out with logic. And now he's like, oh, shit, this is actually real, you know? Or, like, he'll, like, think about you and then you'll post, like, a minute later on Facebook or on, so like, some social media platform or something. And he's like, oh, okay, like, the psychic stuff is real. Like, he's, like, he's becoming aware of that. He's conscious of the, the psychic connection that you guys have. Um, and he is really, really with the moon he's really really um developing his intuition right now he's really he's taking his intuition more seriously like i think his intuition has been developing over the years but i feel like like he pushed it away or he denied it or he just didn't really listen to it and now he's understanding that it's real he's understanding the astral realm is real um more than before you know what i mean if, if your man was if your masculine was already on that path and he's getting on it even more than he there's just like an upgrade you know what i mean like if he was already on that spiritual psychic path he's just on it even more than he was before and um oops <laughs> sorry <laughs> and with the um the star here it's like again look at this like this is what your masculine is like in right now it's like this childish sweet loving energy so again, I can't stress this enough. You got to be fragile. You got to be gentle with him right now. He's so fragile. He's so fragile right now. This is the most masculine. This is the most, um, I was going to say, this is the most masculine and fragile I've ever channeled. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is the most fragile masculine I've channeled in a long time. So you got to really be gentle with him right now. He needs like a motherly, loving, soft energy, but not in a smothering way. Like they don't like that shit. Men never like that shit, but like in like a gentle way. You know what I mean? Like he would love to like be cuddled right now. Like he would love to like lay his head in your lap and have you like play with his hair and like fall asleep next to you kind of energy. Like it's very like romantic and sweet. Um, kind of feel like he might've lost you because he didn't do enough. And I think he's regretting that right now because I think, I think he's getting his priorities straight. Like, I feel like, I feel like there's two different stories here. Well, I feel like it's mostly the same story, but there's two different scenarios in this particular case with what I'm about to say right now is that for, for one of the, for some of the masculines, they were just like working and kind of focused on other stuff and like kind of took you for granted a little bit and didn't fully step up for you. And they're like regretting that now. And they're realizing that they should have gotten their priorities straight and made you their priority and not made all this other shit their priority. For another group, I feel like your masculine is just like naturally very um, like shy and kind of soft. And so it's not in their nature to be very assertive and forward. And so that might be why they didn't ask you out or why they didn't really like do anything towards you because they were like intimidated and they didn't know. Like, they have some throat chakra issues. Like, if you guys meditate, you should meditate on their throat chakra and try to clear their throat chakra up for sure. Because they've got some, like, shyness and, like, fear of speaking out and fear of being themselves and fear of being courageous and being assertive. And they, they you know, they need some of that energy. They need some of that, that strength and that energy. Um, and, yeah, they just, for some of them, they were just too shy and timid to ask you out or they, like, 
were like awkward and didn't, didn't say the right thing and didn't do the right thing, but they they wanted to and they always thought later like, oh, I should have said this or I should have done this. And they feel stupid about how they communicated with you. And now they're regretting it. They're like, shit, I wish I still had that chance. But they miss you a lot. I feel this group misses you a lot. And with the star, they're, um, they're planting this, this seed. Again, this is very similar. I see in this reading, I, I feel like this is really similar to the magician energy we got where it's like they're they they want this relationship to grow they want to plant those seeds and they want this to go somewhere you know what i mean like they want there's this light in them this 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 new light that's come into them this this romance this fresh new loving vulnerable energy and it's really beautiful and yeah you guys are lucky you got this reading because i swear every every zodiac group i'm channeling lately is like in an abusive relationship or in a toxic stagnant situation with these horrible men and i'm like this is the best man i've gotten <laughs> so you guys are lucky whoever whoever i just read you guys are lucky um thank you for watching um please like and share it out and subscribe if this if this resonates for you you know i'll be ch i'll be telling your story on a regular basis so please subscribe to me and let, let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you